Hello everybody and welcome to Sin City Living. My name is Jason and I'll be bringing you today's episode. As always, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and our usual shout out to our patrons. We appreciate all the tips and support. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, exclusive videos just for you guys. We'll be posting three exclusive videos every single week. So hopefully you guys enjoy them and please message us on the site if you are interested in anything in particular. And uh, as always, if anybody has any strategies they would like us to video, please email us at sincitylivinglv at gmail.com. If you're curious about the patronage, go ahead and check the description below, and we're going to jump right into it. So for today, what are we going to cover? I want to cover the two or three point Molly system, and I want to cover the pros and cons behind it, and why people may or may not want to play it. So what is the three-point molly system? Well, the three-point molly system is based off of once there is already a point. Oftentimes, the player is playing the pass line. We'll say it's a $10 game, so they're playing the pass line. The dice roll, we mark a point. Let's say the point is eight. Now, from here is when they start their molly system. Some people may include their pass line into it. Um, I'm pretty certain that most people that do a two-point molly system are actually doing a three-point molly. They're just including the pass line as, a, as one of their points. Um, so once there is a point, the player will place any odds they wish to place. We'll go ahead and just, uh, we'll place 50 odds. And then they put a come bet out. So what they're doing, if it's a two-point molly system, what they're doing is they're allowing two of their come bets to travel. And of course, they will do odds. And then the next come bet, say it travels to the six. Of course, they do odds. And if they're doing a two-point molly system, this is where they stop. If they're doing a three-point molly system, they'll do one more come bet, let it travel somewhere, and then they will stop. So two-point molly, they're looking at two points. Three-point molly, they're looking at three. And then they wait. Now, if one of these pays and comes down, they'll collect, and then they'll put a new come bet out so that they can have their two points, or three if that's what they are doing. So as we know, a come bet is just starting a brand new game. And then you can place your odds. We set this up as if it were a three, four, five odds table. But we're going to discuss the, uh, the, the differences and, and, uh, and the pros and cons. So why do people play the, the two or three point molly system? In my experience, I have noticed most of the people that play this system are older. They've been playing, they're, they're my age or older. They've been playing dice for, for a long time and this may be the system that they learned or they discovered some of the pros of the system. Um, when people ask the dealer, when brand new players have never played dice before, ask the dealer, hey, what's the come bet? Oftentimes we tell them, well, that's a pretty advanced bet. Um, so, you know, if you're curious, we have to tell you about it, but it confuses a lot of new players. And most of the new players say, ah, oh, no, I'm good, thanks. Because um, I can tell you just as an instructor trying to explain exactly what a come bet is to the students that have already had a week, um, a week of training on, on dice and the pass line, it still confuses the heck out of them. So players that are playing for the very first time, it's extremely confusing to them because they're having enough trouble figuring out what the heck the pass line is. Um, so I think that uh, a lot of the, the players that play this, it's because they eventually learned it as advanced play so they think they're doing advanced dice play and in a way they are it's it's definitely like I said confusing to most players so what are some of the benefits to the two or three point molly system in, in a way it limits your exposure you are playing pretty decent amount if you're doing max odds but you're also only playing on a couple of points two or three points and then you're standing fast you're letting the dice tell you when to stand fast is is how some people think about it. And generally people that are playing this have fairly large bankrolls to begin with. People that play a two or three point molly system with with max odds oftentimes have on a ten dollar table have buy-ins of anywhere between five hundred to two thousand dollars. So with this system they're still they still have the opportunity to see fifteen to twenty twenty rolls even if they have a, a bad streak. And that's why they stop themselves at two points or at three points because they're worried about the bad streak. You see come players that will do constant comes, which is fantastic because if you manage to load the bases, that can be a come better's worst nightmare, 
or biggest wet dream, depending on, on how the dice go. If you load the bases without a repeater and then get a seven out, that's a come better's worst nightmare. You've basically had seven points or six points with max odds when you include the pass line and never got paid on a single thing. You just dumped a whole bunch of money. But if you can load the bases and the roll keeps going, you're just getting a constant off and on, off and on. You're just getting a constant payout, which is really nice. The other advantage that some people look at is they look at the come bet as an insurance, as a hedge against the pass line. Now, in reality, it's really, really not um, because it barely pays. Let's say you've got, uh, let's say you've already got one come bet out and you put max odds out. Okay. So what do you have at risk right here, right now? Well, you have $20 just in flat bets plus another $90 in odds. You've got $110 at risk. $10, winning $10 on a seven out, that's not any kind of hedge. That's not any kind of insurance. It's, it's, uh, it kind of falls right into the same psychology that slot machines use with, with big flashing lights and lots of noise when you won 22 cents on your, your $3 spin, the, the false win. Um, but that is one of one of the I would say that would be one of the pros behind the the combats is it does give you a little bit of an insurance a little bit of a hedge against the seven not a whole lot again because it, it, again it's a flat bet um, and the biggest advantage to a combat and the two and three point molly system is it allows you to play your odds you get to play your odds and odds as we've mentioned before is the best bet in a casino. There is zero house edge. No house edge. No advantage to the casino. No advantage to the player either, of course, but no advantage to the casino. So it's as, as close as you can get to, to, uh, to a true even odds bet anywhere, because it is an even odds bet. You're directly in line with, with the odds of the dice rolls and how your payout goes. So that is the primary advantage to to do income bets, what are some of the disadvantages to the two and three point molly system? Well, we already covered the first one, which is the amount of money you need to have out on the table. Right here on a two point molly system, we have $30 worth of flat bets, and we have $140 worth of odds. So we're talking $170 at risk, and we only have three numbers that we can get we can get paid on. So of the six possible numbers to bet on, obviously you can bet on the rest um, through the field, through horn bets, through whatever, but those are all one-roll bets. But as far as these bets go that can stay up, you've got half of them. A little bit more than half if you, if you do the, uh, a three-point molly system, you would have two-thirds of them. But you, just with a two-point molly system, you're looking at $170. $170 at risk on a $10 minimum bet table with three, four, five odds. Because you have to do max odds. If you don't do max odds, doing come bet is an absolute waste of time. See our other videos and we, on come bets versus place bets to explain why. So we've got $170 at risk here and we only have half of the numbers. So that is definitely one of the cons against the two or three point molly system. If if you wanted to, you could do 160 across, including the point, and you would have every single number, but you would have less of a payout. You have less at risk, but you would have less of a payout on individual hits. 160 across is generally going to pay you $35 on the inside numbers and $49 on the outside numbers. So your payouts are going to be a little bit less, but you will be getting paid on every single number. Second problem with the two or three point Molly system is that in order to get paid, you have to hit a number twice. Of course, you can come directly in. It's called a put bet, but there are a couple of casinos in town that don't allow put bets, um, and generally those are ones that have higher higher odds, 20 times odds, stuff like that. Um, it's still a fallacy on their part um, for not allowing it. They think that the odds make a huge difference, and it really doesn't. You're talking dollars uh, between max odds and on a maxed out uh, table max odds and, and table max place bet. Uh, versus place bets, you only have to, you don't have to hit once and you get paid because you've already placed it. So that's another one of the, the cons against the two and three point molly system. Another big issue I see with a lot of people that play this is they don't do max odds. Again, it is much better for you to place a point 
than to do a come bet with odds, even max odds, unless you're at a 10 times or higher odds table. If you're on a three, four, five table, you're always gonna be better off doing a place bet versus doing, doing a come bet with max odds. Check out, we've got a couple other videos on come bets versus place bets and putting the point versus placing the point on the line to explain why the payouts are actually better placing it versus a come bet or a put bet with odds. Um, but some people are, are, are really sold into this, this kind of strategy. Now, the people that play this with a $10 come bet and then $10 odds, they're, they're just they're missing out in, in so many different ways. I mean, just look at the, look at the nine. A $10 come bet with, with um, 10 odds would pay $25. That exact same $20 bet as a place bet would pay $28 and does not require the nine to roll twice in order to get paid. So those are some of the cons against the two and three point molly system. The number of times you have to hit, the cost of it, the fact that the odds don't become beneficial until you're at 10 times, and that you have less numbers that you're getting placed, that, that you're getting, getting paid on. Um, but it's, it's, it's not a bad strategy. I, I've seen people doing come bets that have won very, very large amounts of money. Now, oftentimes they start in, increasing their, their come bets. Um, and the two and three point Molly system players, they can win really nice amounts of money on a hot roll, but they don't win as much as some of the other players. We had a really good roll not too long ago. It was about a 25 minute roll. And one side of the table, the other side actually had a come better that was, uh, this had a constant come bet. So they eventually loaded up the bases. While this side of the table had someone that was doing a three point molly system. They had, they would do three of the points. And by the time the roll ended, this player, and they were doing it very similar to this, $10, uh, $10 flat bets with, with uh, max odds. By the end of the roll, this player had won four or $500 because they, they did hit their, their numbers quite a few times. But the other player immediately colored up something in the range of about $2,000 uh, because they had all the, all the points. However, some of the, the, um, the people that were pressing a little bit more aggressively, uh, they, won, they won quite a bit more than that. Uh, but that's some of the pros and cons for, of, of the two and three point Molly system. Again, this is, this is one of the more standard systems, and it's not a bad system at all. One of the other advantages, in my mind, to this system is its simplicity. It's really, really not that difficult. It doesn't take a whole lot of thought behind it. You're not sitting there staring at your numbers. You're not figuring out, okay, what, you know, how much do I need to put to place all this or which level. You don't have to keep a constant eye on the table. As soon as you've got your two or three points set up, now you start smoking a cigarette, turn around talking to your friends, just wait to see if you get paid. So its simplicity is also very, very, very nice. Uh, makes, it, makes it very easy for the players as well. So I hope you guys find this interesting and informative. And uh, as always, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Again, feel free to email us if you would like us to video anything in particular for you. And we will catch you guys next time. Bye now.